Hello, this video is for Nova Online Math 161 Precalculus 1, and today we're looking at section 3.6, topic number 2, Exponential Applications, Half-Life. The half-life of Californium 251 is 900 years. A. Find the decay rate of Californium 251. Well, to find the decay rate, we can use this decay rate formula, natural log of one half divided by half life. So, for Californium 251, whose half life is 900 years, we will be dividing natural log of half by 900. So let's get our calculators open to evaluate that. I am typing ln parenthesis 1 over 2. And the whole thing getting divided by 900. Now this number came out so small they had to write it in scientific notation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy down this decimal part, negative 7.7. .7, and move the decimal 4 to the left because of that 10 to the negative fourth power being multiplied. So um, let me write negative 7.7, .7, but we're going to move this decimal place 4 to the left. Okay, so let's move 1, 2, 3, 4. So here is the new decimal. So the answer is going to be negative 0 0.00077. So the decay rate is negative 0 0.00077. But if you want to convert this into percent, we can multiply this by 100. And tell them that the decay rate is negative 0.077%. I'll circle that as my answer, but when we write the equation for this exponentially decaying substance, we'll be using that decimal negative 0 0.00077 as the R value, okay? So let's go to uh, part B, and then part B is asking if 100 grams of Californium 251 is present now, how much will be left in 240 years? So for this question, we have to write the equation for this um, exponentially decaying substance. Write down A equals P times E raised to the R T power. Now, P stand for the initial value. How much do we have in the beginning? Well, for this problem, we were given 100 grams. So for P, write down 100. Continue. We're going to write E raised to the Rth power. Well, R, but uh, we just found R in part A, right? So let's go find what that R is. R is this decimal right here, negative 0. 0, 0, 0, 7, 7. All right, the last part that I need is this T, and T stands for time. How many years did they say? Well, they said 240 years. So for T, you will plug in 240. So I'll multiply that decay rate by 240. So that's the setup. Now all we need to do is plug this into the scientific calculator to figure out how much is left after 240 years. So in my calculator, I'm typing 100 e raised to the negative 0 0.00077 times 240. So the final answer is 83. Point one three grams, and that is how you find decay rate given half life. 
and the ending amount by writing the equation uh, for the exponentially decaying radioactive substance.